We live in a throwaway culture. Something gets broken and it's in the garbage to be picked up and dumped by our municipality. The Bible comes from a make and mend culture. So, we hear prophets like Isaiah talking about mending our ways by offering our food to the hungry and satisfying the needs of the afflicted, by not pointing fingers, by rebuilding ancient ruins from the ground up, by treating the Sabbath as a weekly holy day, by not always going our own ways or serving our own interests. Strikes me there's a whole Lenten program in one sentence. And then we hear of Jesus opening wide his arms to welcome the outsiders into the group in today's gospel. Mending and remaking are possible. There are no throwaway human beings. There was a time when I took it for granted that all Catholics were like Irish Catholics. Then I met Catholics from all over the world when I was studying in Rome. And of course, since coming to Canada, I've also seen how varied and worldwide our church is. Because we're so wide ranging, being a Catholic in this context demands that we be open to all other Catholics. In fact, to all other cultures and people that make up the population of Canada. We're challenged to make sure that no one walks alone, that no one is shut out. No one. Jesus picked up his followers from all levels of society. And picking Levi and expecting the rest of the group to make room for him was in that time a very demanding expectation. I'm convinced that if Jesus had taken a group vote on whether Levi should be admitted to the group or not, the result would be, have been a unanimous no. But God's ways are not our ways. So the man the apostles avoided, the man who had taken toll booth taxes from them on many occasions over the years, that man was now one of their group. I admire Levi's courage in joining a group who had no time for him, a social outcast. If they found him hard to take, he must have found them hard to take. As we know, uh, people come in all shapes and sizes. They're not made to measure. People make demands. We must share ourselves, our thoughts, our time with one another. And I suppose most of all, people ask us that we allow them to be who they are. Uh, Benedictine sister Joan Chittister says that hospitality is the missing value of our time. And we must learn to open our doors, our hearts, our hands, and our lives to others. Making room for others means widening the circle around the table, letting the other in as a fellow human being who comes with personal gifts 
that we may need. Jesus called on those who considered tax collectors incapable of being saved to mend their hearts and make room for them. Yes, we're all more comfortable with our own kind and our own class. But Catholic hospitality means imitating Jesus, who came to call not necessarily respectable persons, but outcasts, non-status people, people like shepherds, prostitutes, Samaritans, and tax collectors. Today, we pray that our parishes and churches may be welcoming places. We pray to the Lord. Lord For all who feel rejected and shut out, we pray to the Lord. Lord In thanksgiving for those who have made us feel at home, we pray to the Lord. For newcomers to our country, we pray to the Lord. For those who have written or phoned to request our prayers, we pray to the Lord. And for our own special intentions, we pray to the Lord. For everyone born a place at the table, for everyone born clean water and bread, a shelter, a space, a safe place for growing, for everyone born a star overhead. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Let us pray now that our offering today may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Lord, receive our sacrifice of praise and reconciliation. Let it free us from sin and enable us to give you loving service through Christ our Lord. Amen. 